sweet angels, it's me Jenny. We're doing summer, it's summer. Essentials, we hit our first 80 degree day and I'm gonna go ahead and say it's summer. I thought I would just go through my closet, pull out what I'm gonna be wearing this summer. I feel like, you know, they change every year depending on maybe like if I throw in some of what's like maybe a little trendier for the season, but overall I feel like these basics stay more or less pretty true with a few twists. We have a few tweaks, I suppose, from previous years. I thought I would just go through and give you the 411 on what we're working with this season. If you're not subscribed yet, would love to have you. Smash that sub button. Okay, so let's just get to it. I kind of just want to like pillage through my closet as I would do on any given day. Most important, I'm not hiding anything from you. We don't, we are, I'm not playing hard to get on this one. It's a button down. You need it, okay? You need a few, a handful of button downs. A beige one, like a white ish beige. Let me show you. A nice, crisp white button down. This is like an actual like workwear button down that I have rolled up. Maybe something more neutral like this. I also have a lighter one that's like maybe in between these colors. My personal favorite is a little Ralph Lowe. A little low low. You know, wear from the office to the beach to look in a little preppy. It's so nice. I probably wear this one the most. Let me tell you why. The secret to the button down is so you can wear not much underneath because it's hot, it's humid. I'm wearing skimpy clothes under because I'm hot and I'm a human and I just want to be comfortable. But when I'm walking down the street, I don't want to feel naked and I don't want that attention either. And for me, I feel more comfortable if I can throw on the button down. You can roll it up all the way up to here, if you please, to get even less coverage if you need or get a short sleeve button down. Throw it on until you get to your destination in which you would feel comfortable being more naked and then you can be naked at your destination and for the transport, you're good. Also, like if you're going to the beach or somewhere where it might get a little bit chillier at night, these are really easy to throw in your tote bag. It's like way lighter than a jacket, tie around your waist. There's just like endless, truly endless opportunities with our button down. Like some course of basics here. You is... <laughs> This is our wife respecting tank top, okay? We respect our wives in this tank top. We think these are nice to have in your closet. They are very, they're very good. We can have a Kate Hudson moment shower scene on Staten Island with my Matthew McConaughey in this tank top. That could be us. Rawson studio on Etsy. They have a lot of these that are dead stock, second hand, so you can buy them second hand, which is great. You need a baseball cap. I look immediately better, I think, on days when I'm feeling like I'm obviously being low key, I'm feeling a little sporty, a little athleisure. You add the baseball cap and it really just sends your whole character to a new level. Like you are just committing to the sweaty hair, but it's also like a little incognito when you have your sunnies on, your mask on, no one knows who you are. Just like it elevates my dad vibe to one million and that's all I could ever ask for. <sighs> Vintage on Etsy as well, a little Ralph Lauren. You guys who already follow me know that these I'm not surprising anyone here right now. Yeah, you can't make it through summer without a handful of, or ever, you can't make it through life without graphic tees. Hi, little baby vintage baseball tee. This is so freaking cute. I love it. Some recent pickups. This one is, <laughs> this one is an ode to my, I can't even love Portugal. Really, truly, one day I'll move there, mark my words. Portugal is for lovers. We love love, year of love. This one is a bigger, oversized tee. Great to throw over some bike shorts like this as a cute little look. At the beach, throw it over your swimsuit when you're so tired of being 
perceived. And um, Ithaca is gorgeous. Graphic tees, a conver they're a conversation starter. You just like make friends in graphic tees and that's the rule. Okay, I know I said this months ago. The trend has still not completely put, mm, picked up, but I still have faith that it's going to. And this doesn't need to be a trend. I really F with these because they remind me of my dad had these massive sunglasses, which I think I will level these up and get a pair that are kind of like the ones I'm remembering of his. However, I think the sick, thick sided sunnies, these are vintage from Etsy, are hot. They're ugly and I like them. Other, still fun. These will be fun. I know these are very everywhere, um, but I do really like the tinted sunny because I have horrible, these are really dirty. I have horrible eyes. Sometimes when I wear normal sunglasses, it just feels like it impairs my vision even more, even though I wear contacts. Okay, when people say the trend cycle repeats itself, it does. I swear I bought these like junior year of high school, of course, just being in Colorado, you need a pair of Birkenstocks. However, ugly shoes are really in full throttle right now. So it's like, what, six years, seven years later? we're already back around to the the Birkenstocks being like a shoe that's like important to us apparently now. Again, they've always been important to me. I never betrayed them. I never left them. I feel like the Birkenstock sandals and also the clogs, I've been seeing those pop crop up again. Um, okay. Skorts are very good. I have started playing tennis again and they're very good for that. However, they're very good for living your life as well because sometimes you don't want to be in bike shorts or shorts or whatever and you can just put on a skirt but you have no fear in it. Check the athletic section in the thrift stores. I feel like they're very easy to find secondhand. We're whipping these babies out from last summer as well. Track shorts, gotta have them. Found these on Etsy. They are very nice old vintage um, called collegiate track short. I found another pair on Etsy recently and yeah, they're cute. Red's hot as well. Oh, see? Very cute. These are just like a nice alternative from denim shorts. I'm not even going to put denim shorts in this video because like, of course, you know, I don't think you guys are stupid. Like denim shorts, of course. I guess this category will just be denim short alternatives. Bloomers. I'm excited to wear these. I'm, I'm working myself up into feeling good about wearing these in public. They're tiny, they're tight, but they're very like 1950s, 1960s, like bloomer, short. I think I also found these on Etsy off season. I just bought these for my friend who was selling them on Instagram, but love this. It has both front and back has this little kind of like Western detail. I think they'll be really cute. Um, thought I'd give an honorable mention here. I'm not sure how much it'll play into my wardrobe. However, uh, mini skirts are really making a hot comeback. This next category is called bra as top. I'll tell you that that means just exactly what it means for wearing under or button downs. Well, this is an actual top, so I just like you. Um, a black sports bra, really great to just like pair with a skirt or some type of tee. Like in New York City, truly y'all, it gets so hot. I wish we could all go naked and just live in peace. I'll wear like this cup bra underneath like a flowy button down and have it open a little bit. That's always like a hot look. Definitely swimsuits as tops. I don't know why more people don't do this. I feel like it's a great idea. Um, okay, next very important topic that we have to discuss between us is flowy printed pants, okay? Very crucial that you know this and have this information. I thrifted these out of the pajama section of a thrift store. They are flowy, they are white, they look, when they're on and in full outfit, they look expensive, honestly, or like they look like something that someone would recreate and they're just really lightweight. I got off the real real, their acne, and they paid like $30 for these like over the winter. I think it's nice when I'm like switching out of denim, of course, like to have these flowier pants that just are going with the flow just like you are, you know? Striped pants, these are really fun. These are like probably my new 
favorites in my closet. Also from the Real Real that I had had my eye on for a really long time. I've been in on in ISO. I've been in search of the perfect striped pant. I think I found them. These are these slap if I do say so myself. And you know why these are so important is because it's 2021. Just like mix your prints, you guys. Like trying out new combinations because yeah like you're gonna judge me over mixed prints like i don't think so you know um a little floral maybe this little baby floral with stripes that's cute this is like a little striped top cropped with the bigger blue stripes i would wear this together this is like this little striped moon prada top and this like that's fun i will wear the shit out of that on maybe like a night where it's a little bit cooler. Weird dress that I cut off that I thrifted. These are like, it's like a little cherry print top. Again, could wear it with stripes. I think that looks good. You know best. Like I think that sometimes it really just does not work, but you know best in what will work and doesn't work. And I feel like your gut reaction always tells you wouldn't work. Well, this one's kind of obvious. I don't know. We're not gonna put this with this. You know, like that's not it. Also cropping up, which is, I pulled this out. This is like my river hat from home. However, looks good on the streets. I feel like Bad Goo just made it a little sun hat that kind of looks like this and I was into it and laughing because I just pulled this out the other day and decided that I would also wear it in the city. Okay, um, yeah, like, Get a pair of overalls or I'm over y'all. I was on the search for these for a while. They are from eBay. Carhartt, beautiful dark blue. And they were already seamed right to my exact inseam, which just was fate. Could go over your swimsuit top. You can wear them with like a little Tevas or even ballet flats, this and a swimsuit top and then a ball cap. I don't know, that could be cute. They have a time and place, and when they hit, they hit right. So get a little pair of vintage overalls. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I thought it'd be fun just to like kind of do a little talk through, tell you what's in my closet, tell you what I'm gonna be wearing. Um, obviously, just suggestions based off of my own closet and what I personally find to be the most comfortable and cute and satisfying to wear. Would love to know what I missed and what you're wearing. And thanks for being here. I will see you all in the next one. Oh.